The White House being evasive or secretive about a sitting president's health is nothing new, nor is it unreasonable to withhold sensitive information from the public. In the past, however, some administrations have appeared to be misleading the public with the information they share. Also, historically, it's safe to note that anxious speculations and multiplying conspiracy theories regarding the president's health have backfired. Here's why. The unprecedented doings of the Trump presidency never ceased to surprise. It just got more surreal as President Donald Trump tried to assure the nation in a Twitter video that he thinks he's doing very well. I'm starting to feel good. Uh, you don't know. Over the video proves that this is the rare and unwritten presidential norm that Trump is ready to follow. However, history has also shown how this tradition of secrecy has backfired. Confidence and courage are the essential... Franklin Roosevelt, a paraplegic polio survivor, ran for a fourth term in 1944, despite an unrevealed congestive heart failure diagnosis. The electorate witnessed his decline, but he countered it with an open car parade through New York City and a speech at Ebbets Field in cold rain. Roosevelt won the election but succumbed to a cerebral hemorrhage barely three months after the inauguration. Most Americans were shocked because they hadn't realized the severity of his illness. Why do you think people should vote for in you? a rare situation, both presidential candidates faced infirmity in the 1960 elections. Able to complete the argument. Incumbent Vice President Richard Nixon suffered a leg wound, which became infected, requiring a three-week hospitalization and absence from the hustings just a couple of months before polls. He lost 15 pounds during treatment and then contracted the flu after he went back to the campaign trail. Unable to keep his illness a secret, he suffered from its effects in public. His haggard appearance contributed to his loss in the first debate to Senator John F. Kennedy. Transparency about presidential health served the nation's interest best. A case in point is Dwight D. Eisenhower. He experienced a severe medical crisis during his presidency and his administration was transparent regarding his health. He suffered a massive heart attack in 1955 and was hospitalized for seven weeks in Denver. Eisenhower underwent serious abdominal surgery in the summer before his 1956 re-election. In both instances, he ordered his press secretary and physicians to give detailed daily briefings on his condition. His three-decade military career trained him to focus on the facts and forthrightness, especially in matters of life and death. Eisenhower's ailments did not derail his political career. To the contrary, he was re-elected to the presidency just months after his Elitis operation and Ike's already high approval ratings spiked further as Americans wished him well. With the president's blessing, his team used his condition as a starting point to speak to the public about the disease's realities, and it worked. Historians cite the episode as sparking a new national interest in physical fitness, which President John F. Kennedy continued. Moreover, Eisenhower's presidential succession plan culminated in the Constitution's 25th Amendment, which established procedures for when a president is unable to perform his duties. U.S. Election Desk, Vion, World is One.